Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It is Thursday, May 26th. This has been an incredibly difficult week. We see the tragic loss of life because of evil. And we are reminded that this is a broken, messed up world. Pearland is you know, 200 miles or so from Uvalde. Now, you might be watching this and much further away, but we've all been touched by the tragic loss of those innocent lives that were taken. A friend of mine is actually a pastor of a Lutheran church in Uvalde. I can't imagine the pain that Mark is going through and the burden that he's carrying trying to be the presence of Christ in the midst of such darkness. This coming Sunday we're going to be focusing on the second coming of our Lord and we're going to be looking at Revelation chapter 21. I'd like to share with you some of the verses. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To him who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. It would be easy as we are confronted with the reality of evil to fall into despair because we've seen this scenario played out before and it seems as if nothing changes other than evil becoming more and more pronounced and prominent in our lives. And yet we have the promise of God that evil does not win. Evil ultimately is judged. Evil ultimately is destroyed by our Lord Jesus Christ. And when he returns and evil is vanquished forever and death literally dies, then the world will be what it was intended to be from the very beginning. Jesus promises that he's making everything new. And aren't you glad that there's more to life than just this world. There's a lot of beauty in this world, but boy, is there a lot of pain because again, it's broken. And Jesus came into this world to restore it. And it's begun. It has begun in you. It has begun in me through the work of Jesus Christ's cross and empty tomb. We are now reconciled with God. We have been given eternal life and we have the privilege of sharing that new life with other people especially as they are hurting especially as they are grieving especially as they're dealing with the ramifications of evil and might conclude that evil triumphs it does not it will not because of our victorious savior jesus christ who came into this world the first time to start the process of restoring all creation and he is coming the second time to finish it where we really will live in bliss and things will be the way they were supposed to be the way that we want them to be where there will be love and there will be joy and there will be contentment peace and harmony right now you and i experience that by faith and we get to share that with other people so I hope that when you're dealing with your grief, that you will also be reminded that grief does not win any more than evil or death. Because God is the one who comforts. God is the one who consoles. And he does it all for us out of grace. 
the last words of our text is that to anyone who is thirsty, I will give to drink without cost from the spring of the water of life. It doesn't cost us anything, but it costs God everything because he knows what it's like to experience death. He knows what it's like to suffer. And he's promised us that in the midst of our suffering and pain, he is right beside us. And he's never going to leave us until he sees us face to face and we get to experience the beauty of the new creation. Have a great day in the Lord.